if I would have won. Mm. So, uh, Farito does have a little bit of Game Watch matchup, mm-hmm. uh, but he has not played against him in a while. He's played against someone named Delta who played Game and Watch a lot, but oh, all right. I'm not so I'm not sure if he's still rusty on the matchup or what. And Big Pepsi's here. I enjoyed my time. Thank you for having me. Oh. I, I may be back. I don't yeah, know. Welcome, s- Big Pepsi. I'm gonna swap chairs because this is the way we do things. <laughs> Game nine is game number one chair versus Pavrakito. I just say Dodge <laughs> for the ease of it. I lost to him 2 1. Kind of sad. But you know what? I took a game. Getting right into a chair already at 89%. Two Pajas 47. And the F Smash just kind of Randy it. Gonna take it. Are you still in bracket? I am. Let's if go. I win my next game, I'm in loser side top 12. Let's go. We probably would have met in top 12. Probably. That would have been so good. It would have. Next time. Yeah, next time, baby. So what did I end up placing? I have no idea. Probably pretty high, but we'll talk about that later as Paj with a full stock lead and at 69%, I might add. Excellent. Chair is just seems to really be getting boxed out. Paj has been playing very well today. Yes, he has. He did lose to Co Ginger in winner's side, though. And Co Ginger actually made it to top 12. He beat out uh, Yukit, who is the third seed at this tournament. Excellent work by yeah. Co Ginger. Chair going for that down smash into the F smash. Going to be able to take it. Excellent weight. No fear shown from Chair. And trying to get these chains going. Trying to get something to get get ahead on Pajarito. But it's not quite working yet. Catches him with that up air. Not many people challenge Game of Watch down air. I'm surprised Paj has the guts to do it. You know what? He, and definitely a player as skilled in his experience as he is. He's probably done this many a times before. Oh, yes. A chair, a relative, like for me personally, a relatively unknown name. I didn't know who they were up until KIT because yep. I knew there was a, a wolf player named Chair in our region. But this is Chair question mark. And he plays Game & Watch. Yep. Two totally different aspects. But yep. not a bad showing, to be honest. He made a pretty solid comeback, and he's only at 53%. So. But still has a full stock to make up. And Paj, oh, that down there from... Flying from away. He's going to be able to take it. Goes for that jab. Game & Watch looking a little bit like Sora with that Keyblade. Yeah. Game & Watch was the first Keyblade wielder in Smash. Changed my mind. But up throw into the up air. Not going to be able to land it out of that percent. Go for the no hammer. No judgment will be laid today. 35% on Paj. Oh, no. And Chair just catching all these good openings. But <laughs> roll behind up smash. True he combo. just scooped him up. He went, let us scoop. Taking that game number one Paj with a... Almost very dominant two stock, but chair question mark bringing it back. Yes, sir. Chair. Chair. He says it the way the announcer said Greninja in Smash Four. Greninja. Greninja? <laughs> like, he doesn't know if that's his name. Or, he's like, is that is that how you say it? <laughs> did I did I say that right? <laughs> is this the ASMR stream? It can be if you want it to. <laughs> Pepsi. I'm guessing we're a little close. Let's just lean back and relax. There we go. Did the power just go out over there? We really got some mood lighting going here. Wish y'all yeah. could see it. Getting right back into it. Chair, I don't think Chair did a lot wrong other than letting Paj just get so far ahead that first game. I mean, the first stop. And you can see why Chair went to Yoshi's for this game number two because you can get some very early kills with that up air mm-hmm. if they do not know what they're doing. Game & Watch just has the tools to like put you right back up there. Good forward air from Chair. Chair really not taking a whole lot from Pajarito this game. And Chair does, he, like you said, he has a pretty dominant lead right now. 111 to 36% Chair, of course, on that ladder of the 36. Oh, Great wow. Great down. I'm just, trying to find, I'm just charging that down smash. That, this looks like 2019 Meister. This is what we're getting <laughs> right now. 2019 Meister worked for a reason. Oh, yes. Because it just works. It's a true combo. You know, if it makes sense, you should do it. And this just makes sense. However, Pajarito, we know him as the comeback kid. Oh, he, yes. he always can pull these super clutch comebacks out of out of nowhere. Yep. And I wouldn't be shy to say we're probably going to see it again this game. I guess I could see him making a comeback as long as he can just find his footing. But right now, chair not letting it happen. 59% on chair, almost a full stock lead. Using that bucket to reflect the ink bomb back. The chef comes out to play. Now, 
chair just seemingly switching from game number one, just completely dominating. He's got the magic percent. Will he get a kill on it? Goes for that down smash. Back air, not going to be able to take it from across stage. Just Pajarito has just been forced to just be playing from the ledge so much this game. Just going for that chef, trying to wall out Paj right now. One thing Chair is doing a great job of is realizing he does not have to play overly aggressive right now. No. A lot of players don't realize that. And if you don't have the the guts to back it up and the obviously the skill, you're gonna throw the, you're gonna throw your lead before you know it. Yeah. But that F smash is gonna be able to take it. Like you said earlier, Paj, the comeback kid. Has it in him to make these comebacks, but not with something like that down smash F smash. Gonna be able to take Paj's second stock. A full stock lead for chair right now. I'm jumping right over the splat bomb with the fishbowl to get some more, get a like, nice little string going. And chair, such a great follow up with that bomb. We're starting to look like a yeet smash clip. It is. But chair trying to yeet Paj out to that blast zone with that up air. Not gonna be able to land it though. Go for that chef. And canceling out the roller there. I did not expect it to clank like that. I didn't either. And with that down air, such great awareness to know to go past that platform. Definitely a misinput there on the on the bomb. Oh yes, most definitely. Now chair looks very dominant to take this game. Number oh! Two down smash is going to be able to take it. Force the re grab and then capitalize on Yoshi slants with that down smash. Such a great conversion from chair. Now we're going to be running this game number three. What do you think? Might see a smaller stage or maybe something bigger. Bigger blast zones, more blast. space for Pajarito to play his game. Town and city. Town and city. Although town does have those smaller side blast zones. It does, but Pajarito doesn't have a problem getting them out there. Chair's not, Game of Watch isn't typically, unless he's got Turtle, take him off to the side. Oh well, yeah, but old Danny yelling out there, something that we cannot see on this stream. I hope the mic did not pick it up. <laughs> Going around this game number three here on town and city. This is a comfort pick for Paj, I've realized. As during our set, after I beat him, he was, he immediately just went down. <laughs> it's a very good stage for Inkling. It is. Also, I gotta say, Game & Watch looks pretty nice with that ink on it. it. He's looking a little... He's got that 90s aesthetic. I'm digging yeah. it. Game & Drip? Game & Drip, baby. Drip, Drip & Watch? S Smash, not gonna be able to take it from center stage. Oh, no. And Pajarito making a big call out with Chair trying to use the Keyblade. I love how you called it the Keyblade. That's what it is. It is a Keyblade. And technically, Mario is a Keyblade looter. He he did wield the Keyblade. <laughs> Got him with that up smash. He's going to be able to take it. 92% on Paj. Paj is looking to cement himself into this top 12. I don't know if you realize, Gilmore. Chair has Bucket. He does have Bucket. He's got fully charged Bucket. Going for the up smash and not quite getting it out in time. Chair definitely has Pajarito in disadvantage. Not landing the turtle like he wants. But you know that Chair knows that he needs to save it for the next stock, and Paj knows that as well, so he's just trying to play out of that range, not letting Chair get in. Staying much more aerial instead of grounded. And not not on Yoshi's this time, so Chair is able to close. Not as able. Oh no, not as able to close the gap, and I am proven wrong right then and there. And now we've got Bucket. That, he's got some potential shield break setups, oh, or even yes. a kill. We just got to see what Chair is able to make out of it. Trying to go for that. That would have confirmed into Bucket. Okay. It almost makes you wonder if Pajarito's ink explosions are working against him a little bit because Chair is actually throwing out moves in the hint of the explosion. Yes, he is. And Pajarito's... Oh, no! And with a whiff Bucket! And Pajarito's just not getting able to see some of these attacks coming. Jumping out in time. Yep, he still got hit by that roller, but knowing that if he's in the air, he will not be buried. That would have been such a great conversion from Chair, but Paj knowing how to get out of that bomb setup. That was a down smash if he had landed that bomb. Oh, yes. That would have been the stock as well. Now Chair just trying to find a way back in, trying to close out this gap. 15% separates them. He's eking out this percent tip by tip, though. I think here, before too long, we're going to be looking at even more even game. In a terrible place for Pajarito to be in. But coming back to stage, getting Chair out of his way a little bit. Now Paj is trying to find an opening here, maybe with a back air or a roller. He's just waiting for Chair to slip up and gets hit by his own splat bomb. 
Chair's taking his time and using the space to his advantage to stop Pajarito from getting spot bomb. Oh, and no sh shield break, but Chair getting the turtle. What do you call the turtle? Uh, uh, the, I don't know. I have no idea. I just say back air. I just name. I've, I've named the turtle. Oh, uh, what is his name? His name is Kevin. I like that. I li his name is Kevin now. You heard it here first. <laughs> but you get to name the fish. I get to name the fish? From the fish bowl. Oh, yeah. Um, and these juggles. Yeah, those juggles. 58% on Paj right now. Chair. Just keeping him at severe disadvantage right now. It's not looking good for Paj. Paj might be just mentally out of it. Because Game of Watch is frustrated. Yep. Trying to get the DI mix up that back throw. Not going to be able to take it, though. Now Paj, dash attack, still not going to land. Not going to take that stock. Down air. It's a, that bomb's so close to landing. And now both of them just trying to find opening the back air. Is going to be able to take it. Only, I said, I almost say almost 80%, but again, the comeback kid, 80% is doable. It is very, very doable right now. Go for that down tilt bomb into the back no. air, into the nair. What were you saying about the comeback kid right now? Because what I'm seeing, this kid is trying to make the comeback. Oh, and just missing the nair off of that shield. <laughs> we can and hear the, the crowd out here. The additional commentary calling for the nine. <laughs> and they think Chair's going to go for it. That's it. That is it. And Paj, the crowd favorite, clearly. The comeback kid, the baby. The comeback kid. Pajarito. Takes it 2-1 over Chair? Question mark? Chair? Chair. Who? Chair. Asked. Oh. <laughs> we got some...